In this video, we'll be exploring how to use the Polycam AI Texture Generator with Blender. It can help you quickly create textures that can be used with your 3D models. We're going to start with a model of a robot dog that I previously created. For those that are interested, I'll put a link in the video description to a tutorial that shows how to make it. We'll be applying our Polycam AI Texture to this model. So let's head over to the Polycam website. I'll also put a link to this website in the video description. You can set the texture resolution here. A paid account gives you more options. You can also choose the number of textures to generate here. Here you just enter a description of the texture that you want the AI to create. I'm going to enter scratched rusty sheet metal. Then click on the generate button. It will process the request and give you four samples. This will take a few seconds and so I'll pause the video until it's done. It's finished, and here are my four samples. You can click on each one and see what it looks like while the cube rotates. I'm going to use the first one, and so I'll click here to download it. You do need to be signed into your account in order to download. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for free. When you download, you'll get a zip file. Extract the files and place them in a folder. This zip file contained an albedo image, a displacement map, a normal map, and a roughness map. Now let's go back over to Blender. I'm going to switch to the shading workspace. Here I have the yellow material selected. Before applying a new AI texture, make sure that you're using the principled shader. Then click on it to select it if it's not already selected. An easy way to apply the texture is to use Node Wrangler. If it's not installed, then from the Edit menu, select Preferences, and then Add-ons. In the search box, type Node. Then enable Node Wrangler. Now with the principled shader selected, press Ctrl-Shift-T. Then navigate to the folder with the downloaded files and select all four of them. I'll do this by pressing A. Then click here to load them. Node Wrangler loads the files and sets up the nodes for using them. This is a real time saver. You'll notice that the only thing that happened to the robot dog is that it turned brown. That's because we need to unwrap it. To do that, click on the robot and then tab into edit mode. Then press A to select all, and then press U to unwrap. I'm going to unwrap with Smart UV Project and accept the default settings. Next, I'll tab back into object mode. Now you can see the texture. The nodes that Node Wrangler set up will allow me to resize the texture, and so I'm going to change the X and Y scale values to 5. These settings look good. This robot is made up of multiple objects, and so I need to also unwrap them in order for their textures to be displayed. I'll do this the same way that I did with the main part of the robot. I'll pause the video until this is done. Everything is unwrapped. Since the material is metal, I'm going to set the metallic value to 1. This looks like too much, and so I'll try 0.5. I like this better. Now I'm going to switch back to the layout workspace. The only other thing that I'm going to do is to change the color of the floor. So I'll select it and choose a color. Now I'll render it. I'll pause the video until it's done. It's done rendering and this is the final image. We've successfully used Polycam AI to generate a texture and applied it to a 3D model in Blender. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.